Next up, let's talk about how you can check resistance. As you can see, I have four different uh, uh, resistors laid out here. Um, on most meters, you'll have a similar setup. So let's go ahead and turn it to this little symbol right here. It looks like an upside down horseshoe. That is resistance settings. On this particular unit, you have to, you can select different ones. It is already, as you can see here, the little horseshoe, the little horseshoe there. So it is already ready um, to be tested for resistance. So I'm gonna go ahead and test first the leads. So this should show essentially a zero. I do this as a sanity check, that way you make sure that your leads don't have a lot of resistance in them. As you can see here, it's 0.3. The little horseshoe symbol is what you consider an ohm. Um, so what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna test the resistors. Now with resistors, if you're testing resistance, you have to take it outside of the circuit. So, you know, you cannot test a resistor inside of a circuit because what will happen is you will actually get or potentially get the entirety of the circuit um, resistance. And I'll show you here an example what that could look like. But what we're going to do is just test it out here. And it's thinking. And this one's coming up with about 10.3 ohms, which... Um, you can't really see the colors here, but every resistor that's like this style and not a surface mount, so the surface mounts are the really tiny, tiny, tiny ones. These are tiny too. Um, those do not have color bands, but you can look up color bands if that's something you're looking for. Maybe I'll do a video on that as well. But for the surface mounts, they just have a number on it. So this first one was 10.3 ohms. The second one here is 215.2 ohms. Now, how you have to take resistance is across the thing you wanna find the resistance of. So that's why I have these loops at the end of each wire. That way I can just pull across and I can get my resistance, like in this case, across this one right here. And then, you know, here's another one, just as another example. You're going to see, you know, 1.983 kilo ohms. There's a little K next to the 3, and there's still the ohm signal. Um, and this one, I believe, is about 1, me yeah, about one mega ohm. Uh, if you look at it there, it's 0.996 M ohm, and that's what I'm expecting. One of the things I'll show you here is if you were to have multiple things in a circuit... Let me get this set up here. If you were to have multiple resistors in a circuit, they can add, which is what they do here, but it's harder to see because of how the sizing difference. So let's take the 210 and the, excuse me, 215 and the 10 and add them together. And it should show about 230, 225, right? 215 plus 10 equals 225. That's one way of doing it. Um, you could also have these are resistors in series, so would they add together? Next, let's talk about taking a resistance of a fuse. So I have two different style fuses here. There are other styles, but these are, you know, one that you'll find in your car, which is this one. And there's different styles of this. There's a mini. This is the standard. There's also a micro, I believe. I don't remember the sizes names, but essentially it's the same thing here. You can take and still have it in resistance and measure this. You should get zero or very close to zero, right? That's why I had you check the leads before because this is basically the same as the leads. Uh, it's going to be the same across this one. This is a 35 amp, so this one's quite large. Uh, this one comes from like an air conditioner or heavy machinery amp. Um, let's see what we get. It doesn't matter which way that you'll put your probes, because as you see here, it should be about zero again. Sometimes it's a little more than zero. Um, and that can be due to some internal resistance. As you can see here, there's a piece of metal loop that goes around, as you can see here. 
So when a fuse blows, this breaks somewhere, right? So what would happen is if you had a broken fuse, I don't have one laying around, or I would test it, you would, or I would show you and test it, but you'll have an open. When that opens, that means that this doesn't connect to the other side, which makes that you have no electricity that will go through, right? Electricity takes an entire loop, so you have to go all the way around in order for it to work. And so let's also go ahead and test it with the continuity test, which is this um, little speaker looking thing. So you'll see the little speaker. So we're already in that section. We just have to hit select on this one. Some others will have its own dedicated, but most of the time it is select. This is diode setting and I can show a diode later. In a different video this one is what we're looking for as you can see here it has a little speaker and it also has an ohm right here and the reason being is continuity is measured essentially in ohms so what we'll do here is go ahead and test this and so you can test your leads again if your leads touch each other they should be very low in the ohm rating and you should have a tone same way with any fuse that's good or any fuse that should be good. As you can see here, that was good. The big fuse, also good. The reading, you know, honestly doesn't matter very much. Um, there are some times where it does matter, but uh, I would just say if you're looking at it and you see a very large reading, you shouldn't hear that tone because if you have a resistor, I'll show you here as an example, just as this is just a resistor, right? You got a tone on that one, but you don't get a tone on this one. So if you look at the two differences, this is a 10 ohm, roughly 10 ohm, 10.3 ohm. So, and this one's 220, 215. Um, so what that means is internally, there's a setting in here that we don't get a change that says anything that's, you know, I don't know, 15 ohms or less, count that as continuity. Anything that's, you know, 16 or higher or whatever that break off number is whatever it may be count that as non so if you have a too high of resistance you will not hear the tone but it'll still read it